My experience has been really positive to be honest. I've, I've learned so much um, that I didn't know and learning what other people are doing in their job roles as well. It's just massive the amount I've learned I think to be honest. Drama is quite fun to film because like there's always things constantly changing and it's never like you're never sticking to schedule which is quite funny um, and it gives you like with drama you have more of an opportunity to like broaden your camera shots and things like that. Only a few of us have worked together in a small number, I've only worked with four or five people before on the shoot, but for 30 people to come together who've never worked together, it's a big unit, and it's day four, and everyone just knows what everyone's doing. We all bounce off each other really well. Um, yeah, it's a really smooth crew, like, all working together really well. I think the shoot's been fun. The team are all working really well together. If there are any problems, we all work together as a team to solve it. Like, they're really great at solving any problems that have come up and just carried on with the day. I think pre-production obviously is a vital part um, and I think sometimes maybe that gets overlooked. So you've got things like casting and getting even just getting your crew together, like we spent so long interviewing students and getting like the best possible team we could get together and our crews worked so well on set and that just wouldn't have happened if we hadn't put the time in at the start. We've had some really good help as well, we've had some of the production assistants and that's been really really helpful because it means that when we're on set it just like eases um, the stuff that we have to do and it means it's just a lot easier for everyone and it all works really efficiently. I think the hardest thing is going to just be the staying power of it because we're doing 12 days straight and that is going to be pretty tough on the crew, I'm not going to lie. But the, the gang that we've got are, are all just like so enthusiastic and really good at what they do and, and that's that's fantastic. The writing process is <laughs> very in-depth. It was in a room, it was in the writer's room uh, with Ben whose, whose vision it was for the series and we plotted out every episode, all the different acts, at the midpoint and the climax etc and everyone has a say and sometimes it got a bit heated <laughs> but in, in the best possible way because again you know everyone is trying to achieve the same thing. I've done various things for Silent TV, mainly in front of the camera rather than behind the camera. My granddad always said to me, if you can't act, you direct, and Tom, you can't act, so you better get directing. I couldn't ask to work with a better bunch of people, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, they make my job so much easier. I can just come in, everyone's just working so hard, everyone's so dedicated, it's absolutely ridiculous. Because this is this is my first sort of mate, like made thing I've ever done. So there are points where, for example, lack of sleep or something sort of like slowed everyone down and it's good to have Ben there as a backup, as a reassurance, just to make sure that we're really getting the story told. Everyone's kind of in it together, which is kind of really nice to see as well. Everyone's being really supportive. Uh, everyone's laughing at my jokes, which is great. So I really, really appreciate that. Whether they're funny or not, it's nice to, to be laughed at. Two of the makeup girls said I looked like the father of one of the crew members. And I actually asked the crew member how old he was, and it turned out that I could be his dad. So that was a, that was a bit of a wake-up call. Well, Emily is a 15-year-old girl, and she wanted to be a singer, so she made a music video, and it went viral, which is kind of sort of what drives the plot, I guess, in a sense. My character is actually a faded glam rock star from 25 years ago, and the record company, Image, have found her and offered her a record deal, and, and they're planning on doing a comeback, which they're in motion of, of doing at the time of this um, series. I think that's the thing that everyone always seems to talk to us about, They're like how do you manage to not have the awkward silences. It's almost like a hairdresser's thing, like you go with the basic conversations of how far have you travelled, are you okay today, how did you sleep, and then they kind of talk and you listen to them. And within a second or two you've got a format of building of like friendship almost. That's the main thing I think that I found with actors, you need to be that basis for them to turn to because there's so many other people in the crew they spot that familiar face and they see the familiar face and then they're like, okay, like, I'm okay now. I can see someone that's like looking after me, kind of thing. So it's helping them as well. I've learned a lot of stuff about the way lighting works and camera works. 
because uh, as a sound engineer you don't really do much of that at all but learning how all the other technology works uh, on a film and TV set is really interesting.